Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to install the IW3SP mod for Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare because this is like the Call of Duty Modern Warfare remaster, but not really. It's like a kind of like a remaster uh, client, fixes game problems and adds new stuff. So I'm going to show you how to install it and I'm also going to show you how to also count your play time when you run the mod because when you run the mod through File Explorer, it doesn't actually work. And I'm going to show you how you can keep your place. So all you have to do really, I'm going to leave all the links in the description. Thank you to Jerry Alt for providing this guide. I wouldn't really know about this. And also thank you to Redrick for showing us how to track your playtime with any mod. So you're going to have, you want to go to Gidea. I like, no, I think it's like GitHub. But you're going to want to install the IW3SP mod. This one right here at the bottom. I already have it installed. Download it. I just want to open it, make sure you have something like 7-zip or WinRAR. I use 7-zip because I don't like the WinRAR pop-up always showing up. Uh, so then you just want to go to Steam, right-click uh, your Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare. And you want to browse local files. It's gonna show you this. This uh, it's gonna show you the root for the game. And you just want to go into Seven Zip Copy, drag and drop all the files into here. Place the files in this destination. And yeah, then you should be good. That's really it. You could also play with the controller. There we go. Now you actually have it, and all you really need to do is just double click the IW3SP mod, exe right there. Now for me it's stretched, and you won't be able to use your gamepad right away, because you actually have to enable it. Oh, oh there we go. Okay, just make a profile, just, there we go. And then you can do, and then if you want to, there's actually some things you have to enable so the game doesn't break. I forget what they were exactly were. But for me, you can do 144. If I were, uh, not if I were you, but what you need to do is change this to, instead of full screen, you have to change this to either windowed or windowed no borders because it does something funky with the game. Then you just want to change it to 20 by 1080 for your monitor's native resolution. Uh, you also need to enable Direct 3D 9EX to enable that too. And yeah, you can also, there's a whole bunch of settings you can play around with. I'm not exactly everything it does, but that's why you... Then, as you see, when we apply, the screen just went black. Now it looks a lot better. So you can just go to options and then see everything fine. Now, if you want to enable your gamepad, you go to controls, gamepad, and then gamepad enabled. This will say no. Just click it and enable it. Now it's gonna say gamepad enabled, but it's not. you can keep it uh like if you want the button laid out, so like what you see on the screen. Uh, if you want, you can have aim assist on or off. I recommend it's on. And then if you're using a PlayStation controller, using like DS4 Windows. Uh, something like that you could just change it to playstation buttons and then uh buttons at six it tells you all the layout for me is it an xbox controller so it's, it tells you all the buttons and stuff you can also uh change the sensitivity right here i just prefer medium and that's fine now if we go into a new game it's gonna work like it's intended Good news for hey, as you can see, I'm going to good to see you, mate. Board two. Take one of the rifles from the as table. As you can see, it's working fine. Kind of is lagging a little bit, which is kind of surprising, but it's changed now. Yes. Probably gonna load up the thing that you thing. Just gonna skip it. Give it a second. 
still kind of choppy, but whatever. I think it's because I'm recording. But as you can see, the controller is working, and it says press X to pick up the G3 G360. You know the drill. Pick it up. Go to station and everything's and working. Our food and stuff, everything we need. Now aim your rifle downrange. Uh, yeah, so it all works. So I'm just gonna quit to desktop, and now I'm at my desktop. Now, now, if you go into Steam, uh, you actually see that didn't count my playtime. So what you, I saw in the article that you can just do this, but for some reason for me that did not work. And maybe this works for you. You could just copy and paste it. Uh, I'll leave the uh, this article, the guide right here. But what I did is I followed this step-by-step -step tutorial. So what you do is I you're gonna want to add a game. Here, first you want to uh, want to copy this and then go here, here add a game, add a non-Steam browse that for me it's already there but you just press this copy and paste it now you just want to press the iw3spmod.exe right here open it oh i think i already have it here right i don't know but i don't know why it's not working not steep what is happening <laughs> Oh, oh, there we go. Okay, right there. There we go. So add selected programs. That was weird. Uh, now you're gonna have this IW3SP underscore mod right here. Now, if you launch this, just make sure it works first of all. It's gonna say, "Do you want to start another?" It will be available. Press yes. I'm pretty sure if you want to fully close the single player client, client, you have to go into Task Manager, and then there's gonna be like a an IWSP single player kind, something like that. So as you can see, it's working, controls working, everything's working. Now, if you actually want to get playtime on it, just uh, exit out of it. Go to your actual Call of Duty install. Go to right-click, press, go to manage, browse local files. And then you're going to want to create a new text document. But... Steam, no uppercase, underscore APID, so steamappid.txt. Then what you're going to want to do is go to the store page, and if this menu shows up, whatever, but you're going to look at the number right here. And this really goes for any mod, too. So as you can see, it has a number, and this is like the uh, like the ID for the game. And it's 7940, so you're just want going to want to open the steamappid.txt. Just put in seven nine four zero. Press Control S, or you can press File and then Save. And then if you go into, if you go back to your library and launch the IW3SP mod, look, see how it's running uh, the Call of Duty Mod Warfare game. So then press Yes, and now if we Alt Tab out. We're in the uh, the IWSP mod right here, as you can see. Now, if we all tab out, go to go here. As you can see, it's running. So that that's pretty much it. And now you can just play Call of Duty has all your achievements, everything. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Have a great, 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 great day. Because I know school is starting soon. So yeah, I hope you guys have a good day. Uh, see you later. Bye.